Hey guys, I hope you all are having a cool Friday evening. I wanted to do a video for the first Friday Night Randomizer. I wanted to talk about my current video production setup. It's pretty simple, it's not too complicated, and this isn't going to be a massive video. This is my Mac Mini. Um, it's been around for quite a while. Again, I bought it in late 2015. Uh, I use Final Cut Pro for the editing software. I'll run a bit further in on that later, but uh, it's a late 2014 model. Uh, it's a dual core 2.6 gigahertz i5 processor. It's not really that great when you compare it on the spec sheets with other options I could have gotten, but um, and it has 8 gigs of RAM, which I thought, okay, this should be solid enough for what I'm working with here. I'm not doing anything with 4K, and even then, 4K was pretty new. So overall, um, this thing has been solid. Um, it definitely is not this super powerful video editor uh, device. I especially wouldn't buy it today if I had to. But of course, it was brand new back when I first bought it. Um, overall, though, with all the lag, I've been able to make sure that I can make great videos as you've seen since, you know, the regular show review in 2016, which, no, actually the first video that I did on this was the Super Noobs review. So since then, I've used this computer and I haven't really had a problem with editing, even on the big projects like, um, like Kids WB. The bigger issue is storage. Now, a lot of Mac users will know about the storage issue where there will be a lot of other storage and it takes up a lot of space and you have to find out yourself how to do it. I only recently found out how to do it. I was earlier just eliminating applications that I wasn't using and then I realized that it was all of my old Final Cut Pro projects that were just building up over time, taking up a bunch of space. Um, lately what I've been doing for my editing is I bought myself an external hard drive. It's only one terabyte, but it works out for now. I'm not asking for anything ridiculously large. And even then, if I have to, I'll get a second one. Um, other than that, uh, but yeah, other than that for video editing, again, I use Final Cut Pro. Uh, and then on my audio side, of course, I use GarageBand. This was the package that I thought was the the most enticing for me. Like while I was very interested in Adobe Premiere and all of these other applications I could use if I bought a powerful PC, I knew that I was going to get GarageBand straight out of like the packaging. And that in itself, the audio options you can do with GarageBand for me, it's awesome. It's exciting. I love the customizability. I love the amount of options they give you. And of course, you have Final Cut Pro. It's not free, but I thought of it as a great option on uh, the Mac. Of course, you have iMovie if you want. I tried it. I didn't really want to go in that direction. When I did vet this computer way back then, I already wanted to go with Final Cut Pro, and it has served me um, very well. So other than that, I'm going to move on to audio. So with my microphones... Um, the first microphone I used was one that I bought back in uh, 2015, and it was the Blue Snowball. Um, that thing served me very well. Like, I, I loved how it sounded. Um, I didn't need anything else. I was satisfied with the sound. I'm not an audiophile. In the past couple months, especially doing that Kids WB video, I noticed some issues on the back of the blue snowball, there are three options you can set it to. And one of them, the one that was most crucial, was not working. So in the past two months, every single video that's come out since, I believe, May, which I don't think I uploaded anything in May, every single video that's come out since then had the Blue Yeti Nano. And this thing is, like, even better. Um, it's crazy how crisp it is. Uh, I think it's great. I love the... I love the form factor. Uh, I bought this gold one. I think it looks great. I think it looks pretty cool, almost classical. Uh, so this thing has served me very well, and um, I think it's very cool. Um, one of the other key things that I've gotten used to that really helps out a lot is Canva. So Canva is a website you can go to. Or I think it's an app as well. I don't use it on my phone. I just use it uh, on my desktop. 
There are pre-made templates and not just pre-made templates, there are pre-made sizes and one of them is YouTube thumbnail. And with it being YouTube thumbnail, I don't need to adjust uh, an image size for a certain, I don't need to go and customize, it's already there for me. And so I design everything on the website, I save it to my computer and then I upload it uh, while I'm uploading a video. So. At the end of the day, I think this is great. Um, after clearing out a bunch of storage space on my computer, I now have really no necessity. I thought I would I, uh, need, a, need to update my Mac, but I think it will be fine in the next three to four to five years. I'm very curious about the future of Mac Mini with Apple's decision to drop Intel processors and instead go for their own in-house processors. That's probably the next jump I want to make if I am going to go into a new Mac Mini. Uh, the Mac Mini served me very well. Um, I love it. I love its form factor. I love its design. Um, you know, even when I'm pushing it, uh, I, I do admire its strength. Uh, it's been there for me all these years. And it again, I've made every single one of my videos with it. It's been great. This is what I have for you this Friday. In the next few weeks, um, there will be other things. There will be things like uh, the an attack the block. There will be things like a, a game recommendation or an anime recommendation or an animation topic. I'll see you guys next week. And for all of you uh, video editors out there, um, what are you guys using? You know, are you guys still use? Are some of you guys still using Movie Maker out there? Um, what do you guys think about Premiere versus Final Cut Pro? What do you guys you know prefer? Are you guys more Windows based or? more Mac OS based, or are you, are you guys editing from your phone? I know there's a lot of options out there for that. So let me know in the comments. Um, I, I do want to open this thread up and see where it goes. So uh, thanks guys. I'll see you next week.